Hey there, Wendy here with Jazzy Doodle Designs, and today I am going to be looking at these Artisto watercolor pencils. I got these at Black Friday, or on Black Friday, with the Black Friday specials, and I'm going to be comparing them to my Albrecht Durer pencils and just giving you my overall impression of them. So let's start with the unboxing, and we'll go from there. Okay, so here I have the watercolor ones. So like the colored pencils, there's 72 to the set. Like the colored pencils, they come packaged exactly the same way. The smaller tin. Personally, I kind of like the smaller tin nor the crinkles. I do like that the tin the I do like that the tin is hinged. And just like with the colored pencils, it does have the name and number and a swatch of all the colors. It does have a swatch chart. It does have the little plasticky piece and the foam piece and then here are spray number one spray number two and tray number three so just like with the other ones I will be putting them in my order and swatching them out now, these say Artisto. There is a water brush or a, a paintbrush here to indicate that they are water soluble. Let me zoom you in. It says premium soft. And on the back side, this says Dodger Blue A543. But once again, it's scripty writing. It's it's gold foil. It's hard to read. They did come sharpened. They are flat on the top. Most places ship that way so that they don't break. It looks to be a good color selection. Not much in the way of grays. Everything else looks, it looks like there's a quite a bit more blues and purples because you've got the red purples here and the blue ish purples on over here so it seems to be a little heavy in the blue green blue purple purple red category whereas your ochres and your your neutrals maybe not as much but we'll see when we get them all swatched out. <laughs> if I can. And just like with the other one, there's the little color chart. How to use them. How to hold them. A little tutorial their contact information and I'm sure this is probably this is just there about their products just like the other one so I'll get these all swatched and then I'll be back okay so here they are I swatched them all out and I was correct. I, you know, there are quite a few purples and the blues to the, not so much blues, but the blue greens. Personally, I don't mind. <laughs> Those are, I feel like this is a pretty good mix of colors. You know, there's, there's a lot of red browns, not as much in the way of like, 
the sepias and the the more um, what gray browns maybe and so that is kind of a little critique I have not much in the way of grays as well you've got two what I would call warmer grays this black mamba which is just ever so slightly lighter than the black and then a metallic silver so not even really a cool gray because that's um, if you look it does have a little bit of a sheen same with this gold though personally not enough that I would I would just use it as the color that it is but let's let's grab some watercolor pencils first let me let me show you what I'm comparing it to this is the 120 Albrecht Durer colored pencils this is not their top of the line this is kind of like their mid high range I would say I love these pencils I think they're absolutely fantastic both as a watercolor pencil but also just as a colored pencil for those of you that saw me do the bunny book the little bunny book of thoughts I used these pencils and I did not activate them I just really liked how they laid down in the book and they happened to be on my table which is how I chose them and I was really pleased with their results so I am going to grab some watercolor paper oh a point point of reference here if you want to use their swatch chart they are not in the order that they were in the pencil box so I started I was gonna part of my process when I put them in order is I swatch them all out and then then put them in order from there and I was just gonna use theirs and so I made a copy of it and they are not in the correct order so keep that in mind just pay attention when you're swatching or otherwise <laughs> you'll end up with you know ruby red in the raisin purple spot okay so here I have just a random piece of heavy-duty watercolor paper I have no idea what brand it is I have a bag of scrap watercolor paper and so I just grabbed one because for this purpose it really doesn't matter we're going to be testing them on the same piece and for the most part I'm going to be using these in coloring books so I'm not super concerned about any differences so I tried to pick two similar colors even though these barrels look like they're very different um, I think they're going to be the same So I'm going to lay down some color here. This is the Albrecht Durer and here is the Artisto. Now what I find so interesting about this is when you look at these two pencils, here you have a lighter color. It matches the color of the lead. Here, the color of the lead matches the barrel, but I would say that this is lighter on paper. So that's kind of interesting. Initially, I thought that these both matched, you know, they all kind of matched, but I feel like these are pretty similar. So I'm gonna do the same thing with each color. I will do the Albrecht Durer first and then the Artisto as far as how they feel they both have a smooth lay down almost like um, Maybe like a brute funer or something. So as pencils, 
they are fairly opaque. Now we'll see when we activate them if that changes at all. Now, what's interesting is when you look at all the other pencils, they all seem to, the barrels seem to match with the exception of these pinks. All the others have fairly similar colors. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to lay down, this will be the Albrecht Durer, and I'm just pressing lightly. I'm going to go over my little square. <laughs> I guess they both start with a Albrecht Durer. And this will be Artisto. I would say that the Artisto have a slightly smoother feel. So let's activate the books. Now you can see that that pigment almost immediately dissolves. Let's pull it down a little. Same with the Artisto, they actually dissolved really well. And they continued to move a little bit more than the Albrecht Durer. So let's let those dry and let's try to layer our, our Albert Durer. We're going to layer this orangey color and our pink color. We're going to layer them dry. And then I'm going to do a swatch here and we'll activate that and let that dry. And let's do the same thing with our Artisto. So while we're letting those dry, let's just look at the vibrancy here. So I'm going to try and use the same pressure. Now these are slightly different colors. 
So keep that in mind. These dissolve beautifully, the Albert Durer's. But then again, so do these Artista. And while you can see that these are a little different colors, you can tell that the intensity is pretty good. Now you can see that it becomes very transparent when you activate them, both brands. Now, I do notice a difference with the Albrecht drawer with the black. The black is considerably nicer than the Artisto. But let's continue on here. You can kind of hear the difference in the lay down. Let's look at these blacks though. if I just laid more down there? I don't know. Interesting. Let's see. I think it picks the last one. I'm 
think that was a fair comparison. Okay, these are dry now. Let's activate these blend. So let's try, these are dry now. Let's try to go over them with another color. This is still a little wet. So you can see that it did activate that blue, which we would expect. So let's do one more test. Let's pick, let's see, what haven't we done? Maybe red. Um, let's use a palette and see how they work that way. So I am going to wet my paper here. And I'm going to pick up the Albrecht door and let's just see how that goes. Wet my paper here, wet my Artisto, and let's Let's put some blue in there. Okay, I'm going to do one more test here. I'm going to apply this. This is the Artisto. And while it's completely wet, I'm going to go in Okay, now go in and do the same thing with Albert Durer. But you can see painting these on, if I was in a coloring book, working off the palette, I feel like they work equally well. So I think that these are really good pencils for the money. Once again, I am not a watercolorist.
Now guys, I am not a watercolor artist at all. So I noticed that I got a little bit of, I think what they call bloom there. And it's probably because I worked it again when it was dry. Um, here's, here's my take though. Both of these pencils are perfect for our coloring books. Sorry, let me turn off my phone. <laughs> um, I, I feel like the vibrancy is nice. I feel like um, they both lay down really well. But let's talk about the financial differences. So when I looked on Amazon, now this is December 2023, a 72 set is $182. A 72 set of the Artisto is $27. $27. I also know that um, I think there's a 20% off coupon as well. So you could take, you know, another couple of bucks off of that. But for $27, I feel like these are fantastic colored pencils. I feel like they hold their own. I will say Albrechtur are amazing. They're beautiful. They lay down well. They're also artist quality. So I'm not sure what what they have in terms of light fastness and stuff like that. But they are very high quality. And I would never say, um, I'm, I'm not trying to talk disparagingly about them. I am just saying that as a non-watercolorist, let me be clear on that, because if... If you use watercolor on a regular basis, you may not like how these perform, but I'm not that person. <laughs> for what I'm going to use them for, I think that these colored pencils, look at this, they did a fantastic job. Okay, so I thought I would show you the page I did using the Artisto watercolor pencils. I was very pleasantly surprised by these pencils. Now, granted, I had to mix a lot of these colors. Um, like this color here, I actually, you know, mixed a blue and a, and, a, and a yellow to make this color. But that being said, I felt like they have nice vibrancy and I was able to get good effects with them. Now, of course, I used a white Posca pen, but other than that, I used no other colored pencils. I used them both wet, and then in some instances, like here on the tree, I also used them dry. So, I just wanted to do a quick um, end to this video and show you what, um, what they look like, you know, in real life. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you found that review helpful. As always, my goal is just simply to present information to allow you to make informed decisions about what's best for you and your budget in this adult coloring world because there are so many things and we want them all. And unfortunately, our wallets don't always allow for that. But I do feel like these pencils and the watercolor pencils are excellent value and I would recommend them. So I will put links in the description box to the to Amazon so that you can find them and I will also link the colored pencil review so you can check that out as well. Thank you for watching another video from Jazzy Doodle Designs. If you enjoy adult coloring content please consider subscribing. You can now find me on Instagram and Facebook as well. I welcome all comments and suggestions. Don't forget to like the video before you go. And until next time, take care.